I started shooting out less and less. Um, <laughs> but then if I wait a few hours, it seems to have some more built up. So yeah. I could refill like half an ounce every hour or something. Right. I don't know. Thanks in advance. And uh, you bet I'm coming up in May. <laughs> That's from our mom's house. <laughs> That's a new one. I've never heard you bet I'm coming up in May. Hi, I'm Dr. Drew, and this is Dr. Drew After Dark. Please be advised that Dr. Drew After Dark may contain sexually oriented content and be unsuitable for young children. And welcome to Dr. After Dark, everybody. We are so privileged to be here with you, engaged in our rational recovery. Give us a call at 818-253-1693. <laughs> you can leave a voice message. We will get to some of those today. As well as your, I have great emails here at drdrewafterdark at gmail.com. Hi, James. Hi, Mommy. I missed you. I missed you, too. How are you doing? I'm better. Yeah. I think I'm better. On? I feel like... Like when I got on the freeway coming over here, the freeway felt like normally flu full. Mm -hmm, like there are people mm -hmm. engaged in the world. Mm -hmm. I feel like um, I, I've done I've done some virtual speaking mm. that felt almost like real speaking. You know what I mean? It's yes. like there's something I was doing something where I was meaningfully engaged. Yes. And so I'm st and it immediately affected my mood. Yeah. I'm such a pathetic creature. I've got to be doing <laughs> stuff or I get depressed. And so, and I have been depressed. I've, I've been complaining about it here all the last three months. So. I know. But I'm better. It's good. You have to get back into life, right? That's the key. It's, it's like back, yeah, it's back into the life. Uh, I feel like my life was taken away from me and I'm yes. sort of, sort of slow. It's changed and it's different, but I'm kind of getting something back that I could call yes. my life. Yeah. And I feel like, and this is giving me a little more hope that the rational recovery is engaging. <laughs> That's right. I think you're right. I think we're, uh, people I, are getting sick and tired of this craziness. And I think, yes. I know this This will air when, Nadav, next week? Um, This yeah. will air, not next week, but the week after. Yeah, I mean, it's still, it still will be going on. Don't worry. Uh, but even like the yeah, bizarro world of what our how our president is behaving, the double think, if you will, I referenced my... 1984 vocabulary. So, th so this is George this is Orwellian yeah, terms. It quite literally, literally is happening. So double think is when you can have two uh, ex simultaneously accepting two mutually contradictory beliefs as correct. That's constant. In I other see words, that, well, this why this is a rational recovery, <laughs> a rational revolution. You understand? Yes. We have to recover rationality for me, this revolution. But here's my favorite: Don't be afraid of the coronavirus. Go out, oh, live your oh, life. Yeah, yeah. The coronavirus is very dangerous. It's <laughs> killing saying, millions of people. He's, he's saying the same thing. Right. So it's oh double think. It's and that I think that's why I feel so, I feel very, it's very maddening because you're like, what is reality anymore? Yeah. Are we in the well, upside down? We are in the, I felt like the upside down all along. When, when yeah. thing, you can't tell, I, I have felt it from the standpoint of you can't tell what's true. Yeah. Truth and truth had no value to anybody. I'm like, the truth is meaningful. It means something. I'm a scientist. It means something. Yeah. Don't, don't tell me it's just because old white men were the original mining of the truth that truth therefore has no meaning. You guys are the worst. You know what we're going to do to you? Oh, here it comes. What would George Orwell, we're going to unperson you. It's happening. So listen to what unperson is. This yeah. is from 1984, the Orwell book. Okay, so if I make it explicit. The book, 1984. If you've not read that book, it's about the future. It, you know, he wrote it in 60s. Yes, about a fictitious and, place called Oceana. Yeah. And uh, what happened in that book is happening now. We, we skipped it. We skipped it in, how am I supposed to do that? All right. We we skipped the 1984, strangely, <laughs> the, in the, the 80s. The Reagan era, yeah. Yeah, and now we're having it now. So, so unperson somebody. Unperson. This is really interesting. Someone whose existence has been excised from the public and private memory mm. in Oceana. Yeah. Now, um, this reminds me of taking down statues of people it's, who it's, were it's, bad people who it, were who arguably, yeah, shitty people, but pe uh, people who are meanies. We're taking down meanies. Blue meanies. So <laughs> <laughs> that's a Beatles reference. Is that right? Oh, yeah. Oh, the yellow yeah. submarine. So, oh, yeah. so, but here's the deal. I always, if you ever studied Egyptian history, when it, periodically they would go through these little revolutionary periods and they would carve the previous emperors or what were they called? Uh, uh, pharaohs. Yeah. Name out of the cartouches. Out of the little, they just, they just out of them. They just be, like, they, you're done. They, you'd be carved out of history. <laughs> I mean, Akhenaten is something that people discovered years later, and recently, and he'd been just expunged from the record. That is not a good way to look at history. No, you will repeat the past as everybody does. So, uh, and no one who knows what people will look at and say about this period of history and pass judgment. It's fascinating, right? 
but not if you're part of the rational revolution. Not if you're part of our So movement. let's see some of our yes. new propaganda. <laughs> our new images. This let is, me, this is let a, me come up with a word for there this. There we go. That is our new sort oh, of... Oh, uh, I love that. Yeah. So this was made by Ben the Evil Clown. So Ben, if you, make, if you make a banner or a flag, this is what it will look this like. This is the flag. The, the I love R -R, this. The rational revolution. And look at you. Look there at we you. are. <laughs> Angry mommy. I love it. <laughs> Angry mommy. And look Ooh. at me. But those are good. But the really good one is this one. Oh, yeah, you got to see this. This is the, ah, it's that's the rational it. that's revolution. The we're going to put that on hats, t-shirts. You're going to take that one to the streets. Put it, take you're going to, gonna, you're going to put it, you're going to put it on the front of your stores to know you're part it. of the revolution. I love it. It's going to be in your store window, everybody. You put it out there and you'll be part of the mommy army of yeah. restoring sanity. Just sense. Yeah. It just feels like there's no sense. I mean, for the president to tweet that wearing a mask during a pandemic is like as feminine as carrying a purse, which is so stupid on so many levels. <laughs> so like, bad. hey, what's wrong with carrying your purse, motherfucker? It's so... Like, it's kind of rad and useful, and I do it. Uh, and would you call that sexist? It, yeah, it's <laughs> maybe, hugely. Maybe we would call it that. Like, I'm not even going to get into that crap because that's it's... just par for the course with this guy. But I mean, to tell people that it, hey, you're a big pussy if you're wearing a mask is not. It's nonsense. It's scary. I, I agree with you. Yeah. I completely, a hundred percent agree crazy. with you. Crazy. So you you were starting to say something. I told you not to tell me until the yeah, mics turned out yeah, about yeah. not trusting anymore or something. Well, well, I swear, you know, man, like I've always yeah, had man. a trust in government, what, bro. Man? Like you know what I'm saying, man. Like '94, the earthquakes. '90, what is it? Three riots in LA. Back and the Rational Revolution. <laughs> but, Wait, no, not this. What, what do we? Oh, what uh, do we, yeah, we can't do that. Yes, right? we're doing that. That's this. that's we're black this. power. We're oh, that's ours. This. Left hand. Uh, They've all, all the good ones have been taken, yeah, right? Black power, hand, yeah, hand. yeah. Um, but remember, I know, I know, Mussolini did that. It's all right. Oh, did he do that? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what is he? He's the um, he's the brother, big brother. Okay, anyway, the point being, oh, you know, you, you LA, remember big brother, of course, oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, LA was in the shitter in '94. Right after the yeah. after the earthquakes Earthquake and, stuff, and the yeah. 110 freeway had collapsed and and however I would welcome 1994. That's what now. I'm saying. <laughs> but my my distrust now in the government, my complete lack of trust, yeah. is really bad. I feel like I want to go yeah. live on a on a ranch. I just want to buy my guns and yeah. fucking man up. Well, look and at you. Take care. I'm serious. Guess where you get what state you're going to where they do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like ready to be like fuck you Compound. because. You know, people are getting robbed and the cops are like, welcome to L.A. Welcome to the new L.A., bitch. Like, I know. We can't do anything with anything. And they don't uh, do shit for you. Remember no. the riots? People could have come up to my fucking doorstep yeah. and the cops aren't there. No one's there. No, they are not doing anything for anybody because they can't. Yeah. They're yeah, not allowed to. Scary. They're not. They don't have manpower for it. it. It's New York City, same thing. Yeah. So. It's scary. Yeah, it's scary. It's not okay. Not no. part of the rational revolution because it's, it's not rational to allow that to go forward. We're just doing things that are rational, everybody. <laughs> um, but in terms of you um, escaping, yeah, hmm, are you are you most? We've already pointed out the crazy treats coming out of the federal government, so that yeah. makes you not trust them. Yeah. Which is the dis? Do you have more disdain for the federal government or the state government? <sighs> It's hard to say at this point. It's kind of, and that's the thing too is I've always been like, yeah, the federal government's crazy, but California, we're good. Like oh, we're pretty no, no. good. And now no, you're no, like, no, 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 no. oh, California. I heard is it fucked. beyond fuck. Yeah. I am. Um, by the way, I want you to queue up Nadav a uh, a trailer for a movie called Roar. R -O -A -R. Oh, I'm gonna talk about that, and then I we're have a question a for you from a lady. Today, uh, which good. Is pretty but good. Um, I heard Newsom being interviewed by a New York Times reporter the other day, and he and she goes. Uh, you know, it's the first time in my life. I'm, everyone I know is thinking about leaving California, <laughs> and it's a real thing now. And he goes, "You know what?" The former governor Jerry Brown said, "Where are you going to go?" And she goes, what, 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 do you, "What do you mean? They're going everywhere." And he goes, "Well, I don't know what he meant, but that's what he said." And I was like, <laughs> "Governor." Uh, and then he went, "You know what? I knew a family that was paying a lot of money in California. They moved to Salt Lake City, put their kids in private school. They're doing great." Yeah. Uh... Yeah, that's our point. <laughs> they're doing great wherever they go other than in California. What in the hell is the matter with you, sir? I know. And what is the matter? What is the matter? Then, there's a mass exodus from and Seattle, And then we're not going to have cars, but by we're not going to have cars. We're in the, in the meantime letting forest uh, burn, putting almost one and a half times amount of the carbon in the atmosphere than cars do every it's year. It's nutty. It's like, it's oh, you know, wait. crazy. It's not know, rational. It's rational not rational. Revolution. And here's my favorite. I went to just go see a video on the LA Times put out about the upcoming 
election and what's on the ballot in the state yeah. of California. Do oh, you want to yeah. know what I saw? And I was like, okay, the first one was to reinstate affirmative action, which we did that in the 90s yes. and it didn't really work no. for many reasons. Yes. In fact, it might be more racist to put right. these policies in place. Correct. So that's number one on the bill. Number two was uh, whether or not people on parole should be able to vote. Right. And I'm like, really, motherfuckers? Like, the state oh. is on fire right now. Oh, yeah. Well, there's going to be nobody fire. left except felons and undocumented immigrants. So <laughs> they're going to have to get their votes from somewhere. Anyways, so I was like, this is the priority right now? Oh, yeah. And beyond. I clicked off. I'm like, yeah, fuck yeah. this. It's I can't. beyond. Anyway, okay. anyway, that's why so I'm at. Somebody asked I'm me feeling question. scared. This is interesting because I've always watched these shows mm -hmm. and I never understood if this was real. Okay. It says, hi, Dr. Jeans. My name um, my name's Emily. I'm 24 weeks, three days pregnant. Mm. The baby's doing well. No deficiencies except hydronephrosis. Oh my goodness, for in, her in the one, baby. The kidney. It doesn't okay. specify. In one okay. kidney. Okay. We go to a high risk doctor to monitor that. Mm -hmm. I can feel and see movement, but I don't have a noticeable bump. I swear I don't, I didn't know I was pregnant. It would be like a phantom pregnancy. Is that normal? Well, that's weird. Is she obese or something where she wouldn't notice it? I mean, I don't know. 24 oh. weeks, 24 weeks, you should start to see something. You see a lot of baby. <laughs> yeah. Well, 28 weeks, you'll definitely see it. And that's hydronephrosis, which is just a, and that happens sometimes and sometimes oh. resolves spontaneously and they'll watch. That's not that big a deal. Um, but uh, hopefully the baby's developing otherwise normally. The kidneys and the ears, strangely, both, both those developmental abnormalities go together. So we'll see how the ears develop normally, but it should be fine. should be fine. Uh, 24 weeks, uh, 28 weeks, you'll have a, you'll be seeing it. But there are those skinny women who like, who are so fit. Is that what it is? That I don't know what fat? it is. It's almost like the baby goes backwards and, and it stays up and it's very oh. strange when it, when it happens like that. Yeah. Cause I've seen yeah. fit bitches who are like on Instagram and they're like, I'm nine months pregnant, but their, their bump is like, meow. It's yeah. nothing. Yeah, that's, that's so enraging. Cause yes. I show, I was showing like six <laughs> weeks pregnant. I'm already fucking big. <laughs> But you're a mommy. Um, I know, I know. Mommy I'm such jeans. a mommy. Oh my gosh. So, I know we should, we should do this today. We've sort of the, the, which one, mommy? the Trump conversation. No, you wanted to interview me about what's going on with him medically and stuff. Is it? Is it'll be too late by the time? Yeah, but see, still, people don't have not made Let's sense. Let's talk of about it. the drugs. Okay, yeah. very quick. I'll do it very quickly. Do quick. So, um, I thought his treatment was masterful. I, th I, th I fully signed up for what the doctors did there. I love the fact that he wants to give Regeneron to everybody, um, but it's a little weird. <laughs> I mean, what does this mean? Other... Like, to back um, up. So, okay, so he got ahead. sick. He got sick. He's in a risk category. He's obese. He's 75 years old. So, you know, <laughs> he has about a five. Once he's admitted to a hospital, he has about a 12% chance of, of getting in real serious trouble. Outside the hospital, he, he wasn't hospitalized the way we would normally hospitalize somebody. He was sort of advanced hospitalized, right? Because he's it the president. It was more of a pre... So, so yeah, it was a yeah, precautionary precaution. thing. So in reality, he has about a 5% chance of serious trouble. Uh, so he's 95% chance of getting through this just fine. He was sick, bad, pretty pretty sick for the first day. They gave him monoclonal antibodies against the virus, which is like the same thing as a vaccine does, but it's actually an exogenous um, antibody that's similar to the convalescent plasma, except they just create the monoclonal antibody. They build it. And Point it kills is, the virus. Can I get this shit when I get it? Well, I, I want it for sure when I get it. Now, I'll, how can I'll I think, get this? You'll probably get the convalescent plasma until the FDA approves Regeneron, and then Trump distributes it the way he said he was going to. You you will be able to in next I mean, year three months yeah <laughs> okay uh, hopefully you won't get Shit. this until then I so know. and then they gave him remdesivir which is another antiviral medication is a different mechanism of action has been approved it reduces hospitalization the hospitalization stays there's not as much enthusiasm about it, remdesivir as there was at the beginning same with the convalescent plasma I think the monoclonal antibody the Regeneron is going to be better than convalescent plasma so I would want that myself. Um, remdesivir is neither here nor there. And then the dexamethasone is what's making him crazy. It's mm. also called decadron. It's steroid, corticosteroid. It makes people manicky and inflated. And oh. he started tweeting in all capitals the next day as soon as he was put oh. on it. And uh, it's very helpful. I've treated a few cases of uh, COVID, which early in the epidemic, Mm -hmm. I have people that, I have a lot of patients that get recurrent pneumonias and things like that. And I'm often putting them on steroids, corticosteroids mm -hmm. and antibiotics. And uh, I thought these patients were getting just what they usually get and they didn't get better, but they ended up on steroids because I'd put them on it for what I thought I was treating. They ended up having COVID and they did very well. Oh, so, so having steroids, are, steroids a are a good thing. The question is the timing and how do we not suppress the immune response to the virus? Probably, you know, a week or two in is probably in the, in the zone where you take steroids. And if you have more advanced disease, you definitely take the steroids. I mean, I am kind of convinced because he, as you just said, he's obese. The yeah. guy probably hasn't done a sit up in his life. Mm. He looks like shit in that yeah, big dumpy there, ass suit. Yeah, there's that. And like he did really well. So uh -huh. 
praise Allah, praise the medicine that he's on. Yeah, I don't so let's know. make sure, let's see if we can get everybody to get he's, that. Trump yeah. is such a dump ass. <laughs> Look how dumpy that guy. He's like the first president to just openly be dumpy. <laughs> Remember, <laughs> like, yeah, we used to shame presidents for being fat. I think you can make fun of him. Oh, do we still? Yeah, we still do. I think you can. Good times. There he is with there his is. Kentucky Fried yeah, Chicken. Yeah, see, it's fine. Yeah, wait for us. Uh, anyway, uh, be that as it may, uh, it's always um, kind of weird to see somebody get a little high on steroids, especially when they have the access to the nuclear codes. <laughs> and, and what he was saying today with the um, the sexist stuff, I do not sign off on that at all. Whatever, I know what that's man. all about. Masks work, everybody. <laughs> we are concerned about the aerosols, that there might be stuff come out of the side of the mask and things may okay. go more than six feet and pay attention. Masks do cut some stuff down. Okay. Why not wear the damn mask? Why not? Look at California. Our data is so good. We're all wearing masks. Is it good right now? Speaking of the state government, I want an apology from the um, state medical officer who guaranteed Ooh. a 90% increase in hospitalization in the state of California. So we have to lock down. Instead, there's been about a 30% decrease. Oh. Oh, I want an I want a, I want a I'm good. You good. I want Dr. an apology. I, want I like a, this. I like you, when you get you see this. This fired is up. rational recovery. You see what that? This is my. This is my. I like move. it. You fired up. Move. I like that. National revolution. Bring the heat. Woo! All right. Speaking of bringing the hate, let's uh, get a voice message in here. Let's do that. I'm wearing my power blazer today. I see that. And people hey, love it. Drew. Hey, man. My name is Adam. Been listening to the show since you started it. Thank I you. had a weird question. A weird thing was happening. In my left eye. I've had a tick in it throughout the day. It just shudders. It's weird. But oh, it just that. started maybe a year ago, and I don't know why. Thank you. Keep mind a tick in right. the I have a, I have a lower lid twitch. Yes. Is that what he's talking it's about? It's all fasciculation, this, this little thing. And <laughs> sometimes it's a... Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh. It's happened since, oh, I don't know, March. <laughs> 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 yeah, well, I think it's stress, isn't it? Um, No. What? It usually isn't. It, it usually, in my experience, oh, more shit. than anything else, more than anything else, it's gaining or losing weight. Oh. So if you have a sudden, you've lost a bunch of weight, I'm right? so thin. Yeah, <laughs> right. And I so, just eat and eat and I can't seem to and, gain and it's weight. Called, and it can be in the upper lid and it can be in the lower <laughs> lid. Yeah, down here. Yeah, and it, if you a sudden change in your workout pattern will also do that. Yeah, I make fitness. But yeah. I but I've seen the gaining or losing weight be the more predictive thing of this. Yeah. That's exciting. Isn't that nice? So, so times. okay, so that's it. It's a sign you're actually losing. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was just stress because I. I, I was, wonder. I never had this thought before, because I would notice it myself when I would go on restrictive calorie diets. Yeah. It doesn't happen when I go on sort of keto diet stuff, which is Ketogenic interesting. Ketogenic diets, the way to go, man. Uh, so I'm wondering if it's a sign you're breaking down protein, like mm. muscle. Interesting. We don't know. Anyway, another voice message. <laughs> you're like, you could be breaking down muscle. Well, but dying. We, can, I mean, we can speculate all day. No we big don't deal. Know. We don't know. You're dying, Christina. You're hey, Dr. Drew. Hey, um, my name is Jacob. Jacob. <laughs> I have a quick question. Yeah. I'm a little bit worried about my wife. Uh -oh. This is definitely a brown question. I'm going to uh. need a little bit of a disclaimer. Uh. We have two little boys. Mm -hmm. The youngest one is around four. Um, ever since having our youngest, so four years now, my wife only makes diarrhea brown. <laughs> She's never had one solid loaf pinched between her cheeks. Oh, wow. Um, well, <laughs> How does he she, know? She refuses to go to a doctor. She claims it's nothing. Since what is it? I'm not since sure. When? Since when? Uh, the baby. Also, part two. Every time she steps foot in a grocery store, uh, mostly Target, she poops her pants. She actually shits her pants. Every single time. If she's going to Target, <sighs> down the street. Well, she gets excited. To get a gallon Target's of milk, exciting. I right? can guarantee I will get a text message or a phone call saying, I poop my pants. She's um, just trying to entertain you, Jacob. Love you, mommy. Keep I love you too, man. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> Jacob, your she, wife's making you happy. Jacob. So it's a, that's a very sort of, uh, actually a significant brown question, right? It's yeah. a medical question. Uh, you okay? Yeah. You good? I just thought I giggled because I remember that she hasn't had a solid brown. And he like, how does he know that every single turd she well, makes, I, listen, she's, every she's, single one, She Jacob, loves her man and she shares everything with she Jacob. She reports it, Every yeah. time she sharts, she tells him. <laughs> she knows the joy. She understands. Yeah. Okay. So, are you married to, is, he, is that Tom calling I know, Jacob? I know. Like, that... sounds very familiar because <laughs> Tom and I are really invested in each other's browns too. <laughs> yeah. Amazingly, I knew that. Yeah. Uh, 
So uh, diarrhea is a significant thing. Should they get a medical evaluation? Here's the deal. It can be bacterial. You know, it can be oh. some bacterial infection in the colon. It can be parasites. Things like cool. Giardia can get in there. There are ova, you know, we get, parasites can get in too. It's weird that it happened since the uh, babies. I wonder if she started any medication since then. So medicines can do this. Uh, bacterial uh, overgrowth, the small bowel can do that if she had some antibiotics or if she'd had a viral illness before. Uh, it could be, you know, irritable bowel, that kind of thing. You're dealing with babies all the time. It could be some other dietary change. I mean, her flora can change. You yes. might want to get her, I mean, just an easy thing to do is get some Metamucil, get a bit of probiotic. probiotic. You can try a little Imodium just to see if it can yeah. get some formed brown in there. <laughs> You should have been a gastroenterologist. That's Why really weren't you? Fun. Why I weren't know. you? I can't. I you don't would have enjoy every day. Brown does not bother me. I know. I, vomit I, does. Brown does you. not. It brings you joy. I know. It clearly it's does. So I think young. it's your husband, though. No. I think it's you're seeing the world through the eyes of a. Of... No, I assure you, I've been like this since I was little. It's because my family always talked about brown. Oh. We're, we're we're nasty Eastern blocker. Yeah, like, yeah. No, I get it because we have some of that class. too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's the the humor is all shit yeah. humor. Yeah, we're just garbage people who <laughs> laugh at garbage things. <laughs> I'm just trash. <laughs> and I like it. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. Okay, one more. Give me another one. Hey, Drew. Hey, it's man. Danny from New York City. Yo. Um, I just finished doing the five knuckle shuffle and it got me thinking about my white. Uh, my first question is what do the consistencies of white indicate? Sometimes my white can be the normal mix of yeah. jelly like substance and water. Sometimes it's just super watery yeah. and clear. And sometimes mm -hmm. it's white with very little liquid uh what do these mean also how long does it take for white to be produced in the body oh, um that's after a, a couple question. of sessions i started shooting out less and less uh, <laughs> but then if i wait a few hours it seems to have some more built up so yeah. does it refill like half an ounce every hour or something right i don't know thanks in advance and uh you bet i'm coming up in may <laughs> that's from our mom's house <laughs> That's a new one. I've never heard you bet I'm coming up in May. That's from that guy, Leo, who jerks off with Mark. Oh. Yeah. Wow, that was really that was really funny. Yeah. So um, never he, underestimate uh, the capacity of the male mind to preoccupy <laughs> about interesting phenomena. Uh, we, he could be uh, working on relativity, but instead he's worrying about white. This, this is how male mind works. But God bless men because not only do they worry about white, but they also do relativity. And they worry about physics. brown. Yeah, and brown. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, God bless the men. It's called sublimation. We're supposed to yes. sublimate and then worry about physics, yes. but we don't anymore. We just <laughs> worry about white. Hey. So, you know, I too am curious about the regenerative process of white. Okay. So let's deal yes. with that one first. It's um, exciting. Yes. It's a great question. No one's ever asked me that before. Yeah. No one really has an answer to that. Each man sort of reproduces differently in terms of, it can be minutes to hours, right? Depending on your age and refractoriness True. and how you produce the white. What we're talking <laughs> about is the prostatic fluid going into the seminal vesicles, right? right? Right, Think about your body like saliva. Right. You can produce a lot of saliva in a very short period of time, sure. right? And it's kind of, it's kind of like that. It's kind of like, you know, or, or act, vaginal secretions. Yes. So they, your body creates secretions and the prostate is the job is to do that. So it creates a body, it goes in the seminal vesicles over there and it mixes with the sperm in those seminal vesicles. Some people have big seminal vesicles, somebody small, some people have a very active prostate. But one of the interesting things about the prostatic fluid is you can stimulate it to produce. So sexual stimulation produces more fluid. Mm. Much like looking at good food stimulates saliva, sure. your prostate sure. is sort of salivating when it sees oh. good stuff. So isn't that nice? That or, is interesting. Yeah. And is it you like that, huh? I, it's really interesting. <laughs> and is it contingent on your water con consumption because of, of course I mean, if you're yeah. dehydrated more and nutrition too your, your body will preserve will limit sexual reproduction if you're oh. conserving energy that's the first thing to go people's libido goes their semen goes everything goes makes sense you're, you're trying to preserve you know your everything, white. everything your white everything <laughs> your chi your chi is your trying to chi stay in your body. And so good. Thank hmm. you for asking that question. In terms of the uh, fluidity and the viscosity, yes. they, it goes all the way from water to tapioca pudding to um, snot, right? Essentially sure. what we're talking about. Uh, a thick snot, right? Yeah. Why is yeah. that? Um, prop, everybody's different. Men do different things. We don't really know. And, and again, it's... Um, 
But if you're keeping the fluid, uh, the pipes empty, it's gonna yeah. be more. It's gonna be more liquidy. Right. So it's not. Yeah. It's not just a myth when you joke and you're like, oh, this one's gonna be like glue because it's been right. so long. It's right. true. It's more that way. But uh, but if you go too long, it kind of goes the other way too. So it's too too liquid. Yeah, yeah. And does it, the number of sperm get affected? It can a little bit. There's sort of a, a curve to that too. Um, and if you go to a fertility clinic, they'll say withhold a certain number That's of right. days right. and don't go into a hot tub. And there are ways to optimize it. And then if right. you're if you have too little sexual activity, it drops. Too much sexual activity, it drops. Gosh, good times. It's amazing. Eh? It's Let's amazing. Sperm and you one guys. guy, one guy zeroed us in on all that interesting white content. <laughs> I had another good white. Good morning, my dick. <laughs> Here's a here's a email. I've been listening for a while now. And Good I'm one, a you guys. Big YMH fan during sex with my wife. I've never been able to make her orgasm. It's been three years now and nothing. We were both virgins Aww. when we met. She's never orgasmed for masturbating either. Uh-oh. I've felt, <laughs> Whoa. I've always felt bad about not being able to do this. So I'm guessing she's young. I'm guessing. That they're married virgins. Yeah. Uh, we're going to have to work on this. Got some advice for them? Well, look... It will happen. It'll happen it eventually. It will not happen with intercourse. It will not happen with your penis. Correct. Period. Give that up now. Turn it, back. It, to me, it's always surprising to me that someone's not interested in exploring their body during adolescence, right? It's kind of a normal... Well, it's, it's, it depends on a lot of things. There's a weird phenomenon biologically between estrogenation and androgenization, right? Estrogenization makes you feel receptive and, and more, some women are more sexual when they're receptive. That's sort of the main driver of their sexuality. Yep. Some women are androgenized. Mm. They're, they're kind of more male driven in their sort of both their biology, the progesterone, the testosterone levels are kind of high. That's they respond me. to it. I'm androgen. And, and the androgen folks masturbate. Yes. Yeah, and the <laughs> estrogen folks do not. Oh, they're like, that's okay. It, it's okay. like, it's not it's not, it it's, not sense. it's not appealing. It's not appealing. Why would I do that? They have to first be engaged in intimacy and receptivity and things before the androgen part kicks Interesting. in. Interesting. Because I would suggest yeah. her trying to go go for it alone first. See if that works. Y and use sure, devices. Use a for device. For sure. And the, the, this is the part that men don't get. That for women like this, not all women, women are all over the place. This is what drives men insane. Yeah. It drives them insane. Men men figure out one girlfriend. They go, I, I got it. I figured it out. And that's they go it. to the next one. It's like completely different aircraft. <laughs> it's like, well, what, what is going on here? Um, and uh, she needs, this type of woman needs to uh, create an emotional space for that all to happen. Yes, because it sounds too, it's a mental thing. So women's but, orgasms but, can but be mental for a man, too. For a man, when you say mental, we don't know what you're really talking about. Oh, emotional. What, what I'm, it's relaxation. Yeah. Again, men, we have tension. Trust. We have tension with sexuality. Estrogenized women have relaxation with sexuality. Mm. So it's relaxation. It's feelings of intimacy. Yeah. Right? Again, men like here, wah, 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 wah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then some sort of uh, safety where you feel like you can explore. So. Safety and dildos. Uh, safety and dildos. That's, <laughs> that's our other t-shirt. I would say, and this is just like, old school, buy yourself a vibrator, not the one that you shove inside, just an no. external, um, external pocket rocket. Pocket rocket so not that too she, intense. Not too intense. Just to, she's externally stimulated. Now, you can't should, go wrong with that. I think that. he should be out of it. I think, I think should he should be out of it. Yeah. She should. You should buy her a pocket rocket, not a dildo, not an old vibrator, just one for the outside. Let her get familiar with that, and then you guys come together once she's figured that bit out. Well, listen, I've got something for uh, Dr. Mommy, Mommy Christina, <laughs> and Mommy the Native. Oh, mommy okay. The dog. Native. I have just recently began semen retention for spiritual reasons. I... I don't know why Nadav is interested in. I, I mean, nobody is, thinks is it's it very a, funny. We'll find so do out. I. Uh, I've just recently. Uh, I've been feeling this weird sensation in my white spitter. <laughs> it, Did you just puke in your mouth? I thought about doing that. Yes, it sort of feels like a rock is scraping inside my urethra. It only lasts for a second. I've been tested negative for a kidney stone. I do jerk. I do jerk off. I just don't make white. Oh, so uh, he's he's irritated his urethra. He's got a urethritis. Oh. So he's so, he's a ninja. He's been jerking it too much. Jerking it, but not finishing. Mm. So it's a weird thing. 
if there's any medical explanation for this, would love to know. Thank you so much. So he has what's called urethritis. Urethritis. Not good. Well, I don't know yeah. why he thinks Nadav and I yeah. can ask. We're the least qualified to answer that question. Yeah, yeah. you guys that always should... go to completion. Yeah, that should be. Always. Nadav makes white all over his apartment, yeah. right? Yeah, all the time. All... All... My apartment gets all the cum. <laughs> Time to take a little break so I can tell you about our friends at ExpressVPN. They let you access the internet as if you're in a different country. That's right. Netflix has different shows and movies available depending on where you are. And ExpressVPN can unlock thousands of new shows and movies from streaming libraries around the globe. For instance, in case you didn't know, you can't see Rick and Morty. Uh, you, know, you have to see it on the network or record it or whatever. But with Netflix France, you can get Rick and Morty, which I did. And I love that show. My kids love that show. So there are hundreds of VPNs out there, but ExpressVPN is ridiculously fast. You can stream everything in high def quality with zero buffering. ExpressVPN available on every device, phones, laptops, tablets, even your TV. I watched it on my tablet. ExpressVPN works with many streaming devices, Netflix, as I told you, Amazon, Prime, BBC, iPlayer, YouTube, and many more. You can choose from almost 100 different countries, and uh, it's so simple to use. Just fire up ExpressVPN app, change your location, hit connect, refresh the page, and show yourself the movie you wanna watch. It will magically appear. And if you use my link right now, expressvpn.com slash after dark, and pay attention, it's after dark, you get an extra three months of ExpressVPN for free. That is expressvpn.com slash after dark. Next up is our friends at Upstart, and this is turbulent times economically. Everyone knows that, and we're all looking for a way to feel more secure financially. So if you're needlessly throwing money every month at high interest rate credit card debt, it is time you checked out Upstart, a revolutionary online lending platform that knows you are more than just your credit score. Now is the time to find out how low your Upstart rate can be to help pay off high interest rate credit card debt. Unlike other lenders, Upstart can reward you based on your education and job history. It's in the form of a smarter rate. You don't need a degree or diploma to apply though. Upstart lets you skip going to the bank because it is completely online. They offer loans from $1,000 to $50,000 so you can consolidate your debt into one easy fixed payment. Upstart makes it fast, makes it simple, and they just make it easy to check your rate. It's a soft pull, so it will not affect your credit score. The hard pull happens if you accept the rate and proceed with the application. And the best part is if the loan is approved and accepted, most people get their funds the very next business day. Over 400,000 people have used Upstart to pay off credit card debt or meet their financial goals. Free yourself from the burden of high interest rate credit card debt and get back to using your money the way you want with Upstart. See why Upstart has a 4.9 out of 5 rating on Trustpilot. And hurry to upstart.com slash Dr. Drew, D-R-D-R-E-W, to find out how low your upstart rate can be. Checking your rate only takes a few minutes. That is upstart.com slash Dr. Drew. Your loan amount will be determined based on your credit, income, and certain other information provided in your loan application. Not all applicants will qualify for the full amount. Next up is our friends at Liquid IV. I'm actually jealous of these guys. I had intended long ago to create an oral hydration product because I knew it could be done. I knew it could be much better than what's out there, much better than Gatorade, much better than water. You have to understand when you get dehydrated, you need more than just water, you need fluid. And that's why I'm really happy to talk about liquid IV. It is literally the same hydration as an IV by mouth. So if you are out in the heat, if you are working out aggressively, if you become ill for any reason, any kind of GI problems. This is critically important. It's a great product, it tastes great, and it gives you the electrolytes you need. Again, much more than the sports drink drinks that are out there. This is real rehydration. It comes in three new flavors, sweet and juicy guava, crisp watermelon, and comforting apple pie. Five essential vitamins, more vitamin C than an orange, more potassium than a banana, right? You need those, you need those, those electrolytes. Healthier than all the sugary sports drinks out there, no artificial flavors, no preservatives, less sugar than an apple, and it's made with clean ingredients. No GMO, it's vegan, it's free of gluten, it's free of dairy, free of soy. It is the optimal ratio of glucose, sodium, and potassium. Also, of course, water that's important in there and other nutrients delivered straight to the bloodstream. It's a perfect balance to help you hydrate more quickly and effectively than water alone. As I said, you need more than water, you need fluid. That's my IV fluid. We usually use IVs, but now we have oral hydration. One stick of liquid IV and 16 ounces of water gives you as much hydration as two to three bottles of plain water, plus you hang on to it because it's fluid, not just water. Liquid IV is on a mission to change the world, and I think they will. They have donated over 5 million servings globally, and internationally, this is a really important issue. 
In response to COVID-19, products are being donated to hospitals, first responders, food banks, veterans, active U.S. military, over 3 million servings in total so far. And here in California, for the firefighters and the first responders, critical for them to have fluids like this. Liquid IV is available nationwide at Walmart in the beverage section. You can also get 25% when you go to liquidiv.com. Use our code Dr. Drew at checkout, D-R-D-R-E-W. That is 25% off everything you order when you use promo code D-R-D-R-E-W at liquidiv.com. Get better hydration today. Go to liquidiv.com and then enter that promo code Dr. Drew. You'll be happy you got this product. This is really important stuff. Here we got Josh in here to talk about that. You By betcha. the way, how is his wound? Did he did he call oh. me a while ago? Did he get it fixed? Um, uh -oh. I think he has some questions about health insurance for you, but he'll be talking. What? <laughs> Why didn't he call me? This needs to get done. Because I think because he doesn't want to bother you. It's a whole thing. He with doesn't him. want to bother you. You need yeah. to just give him your number too. Does he even have your? Yes. Oh. Because he's I, Look, tr I, he complained to me a little bit. He's like, I don't know what to do. I'm like, just oh try God. calling him. Like, Drew's very helpful when it comes to yeah. this stuff. He is my responsibility. Now I'm pissed. Ooh. You understand? I, I, he That's needs a good motivator call him. for let's Potter, call him. too. Ooh, yeah. We'll call let's right call now. him right now. All right, let's do it. Here's the deal, Drew, is that you forget that comedians are R-worded. Yeah, like, <laughs> we don't think the way, we don't understand how to act normally. Here, let's call Josh right okay, now. Okay, and, and, uh, Christina's doing it. Because you, can you call him Nadav? No, we're not set up over here to make calls. We're here. We're okay, good. You talk. You berate him. Perfect. Stupid Josh Potter. How does he let that? Hello. Hi, Josh. You're on After Dark with Christina P and Dr. Drew. Oh, hello. I didn't expect your voice to come across. No, no. Would you like to hear the young lady's no, voice? No, he doesn't want to hear. It. It's not pretty. Hi, Josh. I thought Christina got real deep for a second. No, I love you, Josh. No, she didn't get real deep, uh, but I do want to get deep uh, into your ass crack because you you need to get that finished. What's going on? Oh, what? Get the surgery done? Yes. Oh yes, I, I'm gonna get I'm getting it done. I I launched a podcast, Doctor Drew. I've got a lot going on. Josh, seriously, oh you're, my you're, God. Here's, here's what you need to understand. You have a hole in your butt. I, I am your, your crack. you are my responsibility. So I got to make sure you get this full all the way through. You understand? That's my responsibility. It freaks me out that you're not doing this. It's really been very good, actually. I, I, job, I, I understand. Yes, I Thank you. But I, that, I, I have actually, uh, because of your well done procedure, have like almost forgotten about it. Right. Yeah, That's what I'm afraid that of. That doesn't mean it's okay That's not to continue. <laughs> Nadav, I forgot about it. Nadav, what were you talking about? Uh, now, Potter won't be able to hear me, but he yeah, did say I'll... there was a little difficult finding a surgeon. Okay. Yeah, well, he called me about that. You called me about difficult about finding a surgeon, right? Oh, yeah, no, I did. And, um, yeah, I mean, I honestly, like, I got frustrated uh, with myself. I mean, I get into the nitty gritty of it. I mean, the insurance I bought is a PPO. No one seems to have heard of it, uh, which is alarming to me. Oh. Uh, so I'm uh, having a hard time finding someone who takes it. Oh, that's weird. Well, so. can you can you call the insurance company or go to a website and see, get a list and get send me that list? Are I'll they located in the Bahamas? Like, <laughs> oh, where's this? Shit. Right, that's what I'm. Uh, that's where I've come to an impasse with this company. No, so. find find a list <laughs> of, of available surgeons and and send it to me. You have my email, right? Yes. Okay, and then email me the list, and I will pick somebody for you. Okay, don't don't hang on. Christina wants to talk to you. I'm just thinking that there needs to be a school for comedians where they just teach us how to do things like find doctors, buy health insurance, sign a check, sign checks, like pay taxes, change oil in our cars, because we don't know these things, right, Josh? No, you're right. <laughs> Take care of giant I mean, I mean, abscesses in your ass. That you just my entire problems in all of my life. Yes. Yeah, yes. we know. <laughs> okay, go take care of your abscess, you weirdo. Like, what is wrong with you? This is the same guy who slept with his television on his bed for, like... <laughs> this should be number one on your list, Josh. <laughs> How is this not the first thing you think about? The gaping hole on your tailbone. Okay. It's attached to me. Okay. We love you. Please take care bye. of yourself. Bye. Go get new insurance. Okay, bye. See, <laughs> see Christina has... A, 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 you know, the, the only thing that Christina is more preoccupied than Brown is other comedians. <laughs> I know. 
Right? Well, because I understand his inability. I mean, this show was originally started because of your <laughs> preoccupation with other comedians. You're like, dude, find out what the fuck's going on with those guys. Because I love my brethren and I had the same issues. Like, it, I just feel like we all need to learn basics that our parents never taught us. Like, self-care. Like, go to the doctor when you're sick. I just started doing that as well five years ago. So now it's my mission to help other people. But then people. you made your doctor your best friend. That's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. <laughs> That's my pediatrician. Well, I'm just saying. That's different. <laughs> kind of weird. She's cool though. She I is cool. Like She's her. great. Yeah. And she sent me some interesting stuff too. I appreciate oh, that. Oh, mm -hmm. nudies? No, it was uh, medical literature. Oh, okay. You know. uh, doctors don't send I each other. I dick her down. <laughs> <laughs> Docs don't send each other dick pics. Would that even be arousing to a doctor to send another doctor a dick pic? Because you're like, mm, that's a penis. It's yeah, not. It's not right. Ex is it exciting to you or just a body part? If some, I I don't understand pics generally. I don't either. Yeah. You know, so I mean, it it's it needs to be part of a whole person, <laughs> and the whole thing. Oh, just like on. an isolated vagina would that arouse you? No. Right. Mm, that's yeah. what these kids are doing. I know, and it's. I think it's more sort of a message. Oh, like yeah. I want you to be aroused by me or something, even though it's no one is. It's just sort of a, <laughs> you know, I don't quite get it. I, I understand it. And, and then people oh, imagine that's going to go nowhere or that no one will ever find out about it. Like, uh. I don't know. Yeah. But oh, okay. Yeah. Hi, Hitler. I'm having weird periods. <laughs> uh, I've never had a consented period. My periods have always been about period? two to three months apart from each other. What does Consistent, that perhaps. Maybe Consistent. it's a typo. Yes, yeah. yes. When mm -hmm. I do bleed, it's dark blood clumps, uh, not Ooh. runny. And my sister also experiences this. I go to Planned Parenthood at least once a year. I'm clear from all STDs most of the time. Most of the time. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Bitches got to get around. Yeah, I guess saying. so. And I get a pap smear done. Do you have any ideas what's going on with me? Please be dummy. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, love you, mommy. Uh, well, menometroraja, that's called. Look it up. It's caused by many different things. It's sometimes it's just you. It's called hypothalamic pituitary axis dysfunction. Sometimes it's ovarian cysts. Sometimes it's... Um, oh. What about... What about... What about... Not fibro, fibromyalgia. No, endometriosis. Endometriosis. That's, uh, ovarian <laughs> cysts, polycystic ovarian disease. Yes, non, polycystic uh, ovaries. Non-ovulatory uh, cycles. Give Fibroids. Me lots of things. It's like a million different things, girl. It's a million different things and it's a nothing and don't for go the to, most time. But don't go to Planned Parenthood. Go to like a real gynae. Yeah, right? you might, them. when it comes time to have babies, it might, might need a little more attention, more evaluation. Because <laughs> if you're having non-ovulatory cycles, you have to ovulate in order to get pregnant. So Right. So, so, but but you're saying there's nothing nothing really it wrong. It does not. Right now. It's a very common thing. She's had proper pelvic exams and things. I mean, if she had something really serious, they would have picked it up. So okay. It's, okay. It's common. It's a nuisance. So, and, but uh, until you want to get preggers, then it might be a nuisance. So right. Yeah. Should we do some videos? Always. What do you want to pick on here? Uh, I mean, God, these these sound so good. The names are so amazing. <laughs> That's Nadav's gift, by the uh, way. Oh, Dan, Dan Pena. Pena. Let's do Dan Pena. Who's Dan Pena? He's a motivational speaker. He's the he's made a he's the twenty five billion dollar man, and what does that mean? it means that he's made a lot of money in his time. And he has a castle in Scotland, and he <laughs> invites you to his castle. I'm serious. Huh? And he'll teach you how to be as successful it's like as Tommy he Vu. is. These are my toys. Yeah, <laughs> but he's great. We've had him on your mom's house. We've oh, had lunch with him. him. He's a, he's a delightful p person. Tell me if you like this message. If you agree, I'm ready. Why do I treat everybody like shit? And why have I been so fucking successful over these 25 years? Because it fucking works. And the reason you're here, you snowflake cunt, is because nobody treated you like shit. Tough love works. You fucking weenies. <laughs> Tough love works. I'm the alpha male father you never fucking had. Most of you should have never been born. You should have rolled down the inside of your fat mama's leg. Well... There might be a little rhetorical excess, but the general idea, he's part of the rational revolution. That's what I'm saying. He's on our team. He's on our team. Yeah. And his, his general principles. I think he goes a little too yeah, far. Yeah. He's, he's a good showman. He's a good speaker. Yeah. But there's something about not being a snowflake cunt, as he says, and being treated like shit a little bit is kind of good for you. It'll make you firm. resilient. Being, I, I look at it as being treated firm and direct. 
You see, you, you always do have this middle of the road. You're, you're smarter than I am because I'm like, yeah, I'm on board. This is exactly my mantra. That's and fine. Then I don't you're object like, to it. I, but, well, here's but I like how you temper it with. I, I, I with, temper because I have, yeah, I have all smart. this experience with people. You're smart. No, it's not about smart. It's about experience. I, I know the spectrum of humanity mm. and I know what that might do to certain types. Oh. Uh, and, and I want to get everybody on the ship in the rational revolution. Gotcha. And that, that firmness is good. That directness is good. It may not be for everybody. The abuse, it, it, triggering stuff, mm. you, know, you can go too far with it. You'd be very careful. And mm. so for the for the oppositional defiant type, of which there are many, many, many in the world today. That's true. That might work. That yeah. might work. I'm op- Then I'm oppositional and defiant because I like You probably like had that. it. You probably yeah, had it. Yeah, in my past. Yeah. yeah. The, the part of the goth thing is sort yeah. of uh, defiant. Punk right? rock. I like to be like, fuck you, I'm doing yeah. it, and bro. And so you, yeah. this breaks through your stuff. Yeah. And you want to follow. I love it. I'm love on it. board. And I so love it. So when Dan he came and had lunch with you, did he uh, did he attack you or anything or no? You out? No, my gosh, he's crack your s- spine. No, he's the sweetest. <laughs> we, I, snowflake cunt. Yeah, we sat. Did he call you a snowflake cunt? No, he would never call me a snowflake Why? cunt. You need that, right? Uh, no, Isn't that I don't. What I don't need it anymore because I have my shit together. I consider myself successful. He says if you're not successful, it's because you're a weenie snowflake cunt. And how does he get people out of being a snowflake cunt? He yells at you in the castle. But does he, is that in his castle? Yeah. That, that's yeah. at his castle? Yeah. And and does he, but doesn't he encourage some action, some behavior or something? Yes. No, He. it's called QLA. It's this whole system that he has lined out and he tells you, yes, how to go forward in specifics. But I think the overarching thing is like, hey, dude, the reason people are such weenies it's because they're losers and stop being a loser cunt, weenie. And then just I, do I stuff. I can expose Corolla to this guy and see what happens. <laughs> I think he would love to <laughs> See what thing, goes. Because yeah. he's been complaining about stuff like this for quite some time. Yeah. I think, listen, all it is is like old school mentality. What's it's his what name my, again? Dan Pena. Dan Pena. It's what my parents taught me, which is like, do I don't care. Get up. Fucking do it. Wake up. Go well, do it. The, go the be fen- tough. Yeah. Be the tough. phenomenon of resiliency yes. and exposure. I mean, yes. I, I don't want to, we've been so far into the safe spaces. I don't want to go extreme the other direction. You know what right. I mean? We can't keep right. swinging this pendulum back and forth, folks. Uh, but there's something to be learned here. Yeah, I agree. I with find just, it interesting that people are showing up at his castle to get the I old love head. it. Yeah, yeah. No, well, so how do they get out of their weeniness? It's old school moxie. Um, like I said, he has this whole system. And does he have to pay for that he, system? You know what he, yes, of course. Yeah. He teaches you how to get over your fears of other people's opinions, which is huge, which does hold most people back, especially in this era. These poor kids are being scrutinized by their peers, right? The comments. Yeah, yeah. He posts a TikTok and um, five million strangers tell you what a piece of shit you are. Could you imagine mm-hmm. your formative years being spent oh criticized like that? I think I've, that's I've only terrible. recently, through exposure, gotten gotten over it. But I've had massive exposure. Of course, <laughs> massive yes. exposure in my life. Yeah, and I'm uh, sort of grateful for it because it's it's helped me be a little more resilient. And but I still think it's awful and toxic. It's and, toxic and awful. But I'm I think... moving all my stuff over to a thing called locals. What's this? It's a you, you should look at it. Oh. It's a community building thing off 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 the off the the world of social media. It's, it's a, you you control it. Oh, that's kind of cool. We'll talk about it. But locals. I do think there Find is me there at locals. But locals. There, there is something to saying get over yourself, uh, uh, get on with it, do something. And I think that's Dan's thing. Is just I like don't, it. don't fucking sit there and be crying. But, but here's just the problem I'm having it. right go now. Go fucking is do I'm, it. I'm having an RPC moment. I immediately yeah. want to go towards him and find out what's going on there. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? I want to talk to him. I would love for you to talk to Dan Payne. I, I kind of want to go to Scotland. Go There's to Scotland. There's a little part of me that wants to go to the, well, the, the island there. The second anybody will take an American passport, you <laughs> should go. <laughs> well, let's at least get him on the next uh, live show. Maybe we talk he, to him. He won't tell you his personal stuff. You want to get under the hood, he's not going to let you under his hood. Uh, no, it, I'm not having that reaction. Oh. I, I, I like one talk to him like a clinician like what's your experience been how does this work what's yeah, going yeah. on okay i can take i dm him right now shit i'll hook it up bro yeah buddy <laughs> maybe have on this show maybe one of the days He's when great. you're not in here i'll, I'll yeah. have him as my guest because i'm very taken with i'm i love him he reminds me so much of my own uh, in Orwell, orwellian terms is there a is there a him no, he's pretty good. He's but on But I mean level. I wonder if Orwell predicted something like this in the story. I can't think of oh. any, any countervailing forces. Oh, uh, right. Who's the counter? Yeah. The resistance force. I forget. It's been so long. Speaking of resistance, let's Go look ahead. at water slide knee to face. Oh, this one's good. Oh, yeah. You're going to like this one. I'm sure. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. I mean, can, you, can you guess what's going to oh. happen? Yeah. Oh. Oh. 
had to be a 200 pound dude coming down yeah. not a seven year old kid yeah i didn't like that one the, wait the, that's not a kid that's an I, adult i said a 200 pound dude not a seven year old oh, kid. oh oh yeah um but uh you know what I, I, it makes me happy for one reason it will bring your husband great joy. <laughs> yeah. This is the shit I hate looking at. Tom loves looking at. I know. And so. it brings me joy because this was deliberate. Like, you're an idiot. Do you not know what's going to come down that pipe? Dipshit. You, like are your kids you, old enough to go on water slides yet? Um, my older boy, yeah. You, 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 this will happen to you. Something really? like this will happen. Some, some, something untoward. To my, to my child, but not to like no, an adult to you, man. To you. Oh. Not an adult man. You. Something will something oh, you'll slip you'll fall you'll hit your head you'll jump to get your kid something will happen on a water slide oh, so great. good time uh let's do a little tiktok hold on mate before we start this how disgusting hold on, hold on how disgusting are water parks like do you remember yeah, raging yeah, yeah. waters yeah Tell me the actual health risks of water parks. Well, they put enough chemicals. The chemicals put you at risk for one thing. Uh, Just you, inhaling that yeah, shit all you day. you aspirate it too. Because you're, <gasps> you're, when you're going down a slide, water cool. goes right into your lungs. <laughs> uh, people are shitting and peeing in those pools. Don't, mm -hmm. don't, uh, don't kid yourself. Of course. Um, but urine is, the, the, old, the big thing is viruses, right? Because urine is sterile. Yeah. Uh, and, That's and, what and, I say. Because I'm a firm believer in peeing in pools, in public pools, in my pool. I don't care. But it's sterile. What's it going to do? You can stop. I could. I yeah. don't want to. Okay. That's convenient. Like when you're so you drinking. You. And what would what would uh, Don Ben Pena say? He would say that just go ahead and fucking piss in the pool, you weenie. Yeah. It's don't okay. You're in sterile, you fucking. All that yellow forms around you. Don't care what people say. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. Show it. Do you get out of the pool to pee? Even at a resort. You're on vacation. You're I drinking your margs. I do not pee in the pool. You're telling me. You... I do not pee in the pool. I don't I, even I know to, you. I try to... Who are Listen, you? Here's here's my. <laughs> I try to live by a Kant's first. Uh, Go ahead. Rule. Oh, the categorical imperative. Yes, I try to live by the categorical. The universal thing, which is you live as though essentially every action you take is a universal maxim. Uh, the maxim. universal, yeah. And so another way of thinking about it is behave as though there's a camera rolling on you at all times. Wow, that's a lot of pressure, though. I find it becomes quite easy. What about we were picking your nose in your wife's car. That you can take a picture of. Booger rolling. Good. I, I found out that Tom <laughs> rolls it and puts it on his mat, just yeah. like me. I felt pretty good about that. So <laughs> it makes it, that it drives you crazy makes me even happier. <sighs> so our relationship is deepening, my dear. I know. And, and so, um, but I but I really do it. I do try to do that. I really oh, do. Oh, wow. I don't. And it's a it's a thing. Gosh, yeah. I just yeah. It take it. It's it's a conscious. You have to. It's part of the rational revolution. Peeing in the pool? No, you can do. You can go either way with the rational revolution. Both are rational. Yeah. Right. You can you can be defiant and pee in the pool. Sure. I'm fine with that as part of the revolution. Okay. But I also think you can make a decision to live your life as though you know everyone else should live the same way. Not even that. That it, it, how would you judge your behavior if you were they rolled the tape See, back? I'm, but I'm, I like that. I'm assuming and it becomes a habit really easily. I, and I, I do think that I yeah. do live my life. I would give myself a ninety-five percent. I'm pretty yeah. great. Just I am pretty great. Draw the line at the pool. At peeing in the pool out of convenience. Okay. And All here's right. the deal: when I'm on vacation, I'm at the hotel. I'm assuming everyone else is peeing in the pool, and I've consented to this. It, it, it's fine. I don't judge you for it. I don't judge. I don't judge. And and, and I. And I, again, it's part of the rational revolution. It's, it's okay. We got you. I mean, in fact, in the picture over my, when you're over my head, you kind of look like you're relieving yourself right there in that I'm picture a little bit. peeing you're right peeing, on you. Yeah, right in the picture. So. <laughs> Golden showers. All Where right, do my talk. Where is our relationship going? I don't know. Oh, okay, this guy. Look, I'm trying to do something on my phone, you TikTok loser motherfuckers. I hate you with such great hatred. You want to box with me? Let's do it, punk ass bitches. Leave me the fuck. I'm getting bored by guys like this. Yeah. They, they start to bore me. Dan Payne, you need to intervene on these yeah. guys. Yeah. What do you think's happening with this kid? Um, he's irritable, agitated. Probably he's. I think he's more on the depressed end than we. Well, he's got the cool guy teeth, doesn't he? Am he's I got looking at that? Teeth, and he's got a messy shirt. Yeah, he's I mean, he's a, a mess, but he's he's, he's he's sort of sad. He's sort yeah. of sad, and he he's can't tolerate what's coming at him through TikTok, which is inevitable. Yeah. And uh, I, I, I'm a little. I'm tired of that. I'm tired sure. of people yelling at tiktok so what you're saying is you need more like diarrhea vids or yeah, somersaults or like yeah. yeah silliness yeah piercings well i i like also like people that are a challenge right? I get to figure out their environment and who they are and what's going yeah, on yeah that's the fun yeah. part i like that stuff all right too. give me another one give me give me a ooh. 
If you're a woman with great personality, then hit me up on Instagram. It's antfletch31. It's the same as my username on TikTok. He should do kissing videos. <laughs> <laughs> he's got those weird red lips. So Does he have lipstick on? No, he's just extremely pale and he's from the UK. And yes. They're extremely pale. Good for him. And Okay, but, but not good for him. Drew, don't take good for him because... He needs to learn how to court ladies, and is this is not how you court ladies. It's too on the nose. Yeah. Right? Like, yeah. there needs to be some courtship, not just, like, hit me up. Yeah. Please help him. What should he do? I, I, don't, I don't know what the background is here. I can't tell what's going on there, and I'm worried that there may be some deficits cognitively. <laughs> And so I, you know, how much am I going to, so? I'm, I'm worried about it. I just I think know. he's a nerd. I don't think that he's cognitively I mean, he looks, impaired. Well, how old would you say he is? 25? 25, yeah. Yeah, that's kind of old to be doing shit like this, don't you think? <laughs> At least there's some developmental issues, if not cognitive issues. And uh, I guess a, a more importantly, mm. more importantly, Christina P, this is a lesson for everybody. All men that think this is a cool thing to do, Doesn't think, work. think again, it does not work. Women need, uh, well, describe it. What do women need? Okay. If you were to make a TikTok that would actually entice a female. Okay, here it is. It's, my name is Aunt Fletch. <laughs> I'm from, or whatever his name is. My name is Gary. I live in um, Scotland. I love video games. I'm a great chef. I want to cook for you. If well, you while wanna... you're doing this, you're showing sort of surprise and wonderment on your face. Well, no, like, I'm, I'm, I'm mocking him. Like, okay. I'm, I'm doing it in a way like... Okay. Well, I'm wondering what the attitude should be, is what I'm no, asking. No, oh, his attitude should be like, what up, homie? It should be playful. Okay, playful. Like, Yeah, playful, good. Like, what up, girls? It's me, your boy, Ant. Okay, shit. I don't know how to do it. But like, <laughs> I live in Scotland, and it's super bummery here. But I like to cook. I'll cook for you, girl. Come on. And then like, make it cute and playful. Do you know what I'm saying? I do. I hear the words. But again, as a male, cute and playful, wah, 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 wah. Uh, so we need a little coaching up on that. You guys yeah. are that dumb, like you, that retarded. How many times? How many times have I told you? <laughs> how many times? So, like, are you guys autistic? Is it that you don't understand mm. feelings? Well, it's, <laughs> it's a little different. <laughs> Sounds like it. It's a little different. It, it's sort of like, particularly huh. when you're we're younger, distance are oh. far. Feelings are far off in the distance because we're just overcome by this testosterone Corny. thing. Yeah. And, oh, and so you so, have to pretend you're not horny. That's actually what it is. It's you have to mask your but horniness. Isn't that, but we worry that we're being dishonest because oh, then because then no. women go, well, if you just told me that's what you were looking for, we're like, okay, well, next time we'll do the, what this guy. Well, did. for for a video for TikToks or for like a video thing, mm -hmm. you must not you must mask work, your work, horniness. Work for RPC, man. Yeah. Well, He's that's attracting men though. Did it work? Yeah. It's not for girls. Mm -hmm. Like mask your horniness and make yourself look interesting. And by the way, nobody really wants to see a bunch of pictures of you on your Instagram. It should be a little esoteric. Like here's a fucking landscape scene. Here's what I'm interested in. Not just here's me, I me, am me, 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 me. Rock the rock three. What's that? Piano the rock three. Oh yeah, the, the sure. There you go. Off. Yeah, like make make him look interesting. I don't think he'll be doing that. No, he's just not a... it. But he's a nerd, so he'll be like, oh, "Here's the nerdy shit that I'm into," and some girl's gonna be like, "Oh yeah, I like that stuff too." And then you can be horny with her when you finally get her in your lair. <sighs> feels, you're horny once so you're with manipulative. her. Manipulative. Yeah, I get yeah, but, it. But coming on horny. Yeah. It's repulsive to women. Oh, uh, see, that's why the dick pics don't work, right? No fucking way. No woman really is like sweet a dick pic. I'm so horny. You are. You are enlightening millions. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. Well. Okay. Yeah. You I, have to I pretend you like not. you're not that men, horny. Men. Really. Here's oh. what we're told. Women, men, same, same. Whatever you're feeling, she's the same, the same, no. the same. Men and women are the same, 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 same. And so, okay, <laughs> here it goes. That's what their men are being fed. Tw a, a huge palette of same, same, same motivation, mm. same feeling, experiencing same way. No. Mm -hmm. You have to pretend that you're not super fired up all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because girls don't respond to that energy mm -hmm. all the time, unless they're whores. And then, I don't know, I've never been like a true whore. I've only ever been with like boyfriends. Yeah. Yeah. So TikTok. <laughs> Out to my queens above 18. Let's have fun. Please, if you're below the age of 18, 
respect my wishes, please don't do this challenge. When you become 18, you can. What is the challenge? You'll I see. trust you guys oh. won't. I love you all. Okay. Okay, what we can do is have fun with this. Okay. Take an old white t-shirt. Write king on the front or the back. Okay. And do a video. Have fun with it. Have fun with it. Enjoy. Enjoy Let's it. make some videos. I want to see them. I want to laugh. You know the king likes the no bra look. Let's have fun. You guys have a beautiful it's night. So much. And I will be looking for the videos. Have fun. Thank you. So I want you to understand something about this TikTok. Please. Some went, what's his name? Do we have He's a name on him? Queens above eighteen. Queens above the eighteen. King. The king. The king. <laughs> so so we somebody came to the king. A woman came to the king. Yeah. And said, King, that horny stuff's not gonna work. You need to be more playful. Yeah. This is the male version of being playful. Right. It's not good. It's, it's not, not good, good, but it's you, working. Because let me tell you something. He now has a URL, Queens Above 18. He's got a t-shirt that he's selling. I swear to God. And women are sending him videos. So Drew, as, as transparent and stupid as you think this is, there's girls out there that are like, oh, thank you, King. Yes. For let, letting us have fun together. Let us have fun. No, there are dumb girls that are like, this guy's awesome. I'm telling you, but that's how it worked because he's masking the horniness and whoever's into that is, you just have to mask the horniness. I just think we can do better as men. Duh. We can, we can he's do, disgusting. We, thank you. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's, you tell a man to be fun, this is the direction it goes. You have to really like develop it. <laughs> you, to, you know how you buy your husband clothes? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. The so, same thing. To a woman, we find oh. men who have interests exciting. And I'm not talking like You know what? I, I know that women like competency. A hundred percent. Yeah. Any that, man. Do you that's... know what I mean by that, Nadav? <laughs> competency. <laughs> Nadav. Because he's a good test case. Do you uh, know what that means? Com when I say competency, you know what that means? Uh, it means see? I'm not a dum dum. No, you see, <laughs> it means like when a if somebody rolled into the waiting room here in cardiac arrest, I would know exactly what to do and I would take care of it. That would be a and cool then, thing. And then a woman goes, ooh, that's the kind of guy yeah. I can make babies with, make offspring with. Right. He's competent. Yes. 100%. Like my husband, when he was 23 years old, and I saw him do stand-up for the first time, and he I was, was 26. What I mean, happened? Segura... He used to be competent. Segura was always good at stand-up. And I saw that confidence at 23 in this boy. He was, was a he, boy. Was he experiencing it that way? Was he? No, out? he yeah, was freaking course, out. Of course. But I saw in him competency. I mm. saw him as a man already. Mm. And I went, oh, I'm going to make that guy's babies. <laughs> like, that's what we... In, in and our, then when he came back into the back of the room to talk to you, you, gave, <laughs> you like blew him off. Well, that was me. And that was me pretending I didn't like him, which is highly attractive. Not not don't kid yourself on that here's what we what are you think talking about? for 15 we, years together we it worked but for the grace of god if you do that normally the guys the guys feel shitty about themselves so you yeah. blow them off they're okay that's next that's it I, here's I'm what i asshole. do i don't fully blow off i put out a hanky back like in the olden days oh, a just a hanky falsoletto and if you pick up my hanky okay great. okay desdemona <laughs> i believe <laughs> you cannot be what well, so do you think a woman should be asking a man out on a date yeah, absolutely Ugh, no problem with wrong that. we are lazy i know that's why and, and no. so we like not having to do things no if you'll but, do it for us so much the but better. that takes away the hunt but then don't you not want to chase out you men like the chase listen Sometimes. you and susan had a very whatever courtship right like you guys went ups and downs and this and around yeah with each but other? that was once we already were <laughs> together fast see but there yeah. was ups and downs and it was exciting and it made your shrink hard no i didn't like any of that frankly. No? i mean if we, do women like intrigue and all that yeah oh jesus i didn't like any of that i would like a nice smooth ride <laughs> into success i do as an my American. vagina's dry <laughs> <laughs> well i mean women do like competency i will agree with that we love that's why we love like athletes or Airline race pilots, car drivers or yeah. pilot so, the uniform yeah, yeah, yes yeah. something where you can you just just do stuff and take care of it you feel extreme safe too. yeah you feel safe with a guy that right. can do something right right right, right. Um, that's why video games are such pussy shrinkers. Do you yeah. know what I mean? When I when a guy's like super into that, my Not vagina in the dries up. So, unless he's a professional player and he plays at the Staples Center. And and makes millions of dollars. <laughs> and it's no like, longer a, a 
pushy <laughs> pussy shrinker a pussy dryer yeah shrinker. a pussy shrinker you're like <laughs> just dries it right Shri a pushy sh a pussy shriveler i should oh say oh my god it's such great language um let's clean the palate with uh <laughs> let's finish up with jerry nadler <laughs> shitting his pants this i have to say <laughs> I am proud to join my colleagues in introducing the Protecting Our Democracy Act so that we may restore these and other checks and balances that are so fundamental to our democracy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He can barely walk. I know. As I bring on uh, Congresswoman Maloney, I want to join the distinguished chairman in acknowledging legislation of other members of Congress that are contained in, in the chairman's uh, legislation that they are putting forth. See, and I also want to acknowledge Maxine Waters is doing some very uh -oh. important work on this subject. Uh -oh. Not part uh -oh. of this package, but part of uh, preserving what our, is going on our, with that our democracy. So the boys with think that, that to yield to the distinguished chairwoman. he shit his pants, but I just think he has He's walking, walking like he shit his pants, that's for sure. But I think uh, he's getting obese again, too. He lost all the weight <laughs> and then he got all back again. I don't, can I say this? Yeah. I don't like him. <laughs> What's not to like? I, I think he's not a good person. Yeah. I, I'm sorry. If you like Jerry Nadler, good. If, thank you. I don't I don't judge. I do not judge. But I just think, I don't know. Well, do you, the most person. importantly, did he shit when his he, pants or not? He, 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 yes. Let's just say yes. <laughs> just so I feel a little better. Just so you feel I, like, yeah. I, 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 yeah. Yeah. That wasn't the right thing to end with. Well, give me one to end with. Elephant Hold Enema? Should we talk about yeah, elephant? yeah, yeah. That one's right. fun. Elephant that animal. one's fun. All right. Oh, yes. Oh, Jesus. Is this in slow motion? Yeah. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Wow. I like the raincoat that everyone's got. What's up with all the fluid in you the butt? They, they put it in. Oh, it's, it's an enema. enema. Right. I've never done an enema One before. One of the best little videos I've ever seen is Steve-O getting shit on by an elephant. <laughs> yeah, I remember yeah. that. <laughs> and then he throws up. Yeah. <laughs> He's great. Oh, my goodness. Steve I mean, did that cheer you up? A little bit. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it here. <laughs> we're, we're, we're okay. The whole show was good for me. So yeah, I, we I don't have. Fine. Yeah, I feel good. So We're neutral. Uh, again, Rational Revolution, everybody, be a part of it. That's all I'm saying. Uh, send us more artwork and uh, we should have a Rash Revolution rally. A rally? Wait, we can't do that right now. Well, we should aim towards being able yeah, to. Yeah, eventually. That. We'll come out. We'll just come out. <laughs> <laughs> like a Vita yeah, on yeah. the balcony. One, yeah, one hand, one hand. One hand, one like hand. A Vita's two hands. We're one hand. Oh, I don't know why, but that's what we're doing. I know. We'll do it one day when the world is back. Yeah, Soon, and then hopefully. we'll do a comedy show around. Hey, how's the vaccine coming? Same as last time, uh, we'll have it in the new year. Uh, I'm working with a company called Additix that I'm very excited about. I just met with a bunch of scientists this morning. Mm. And we're going to be able to, you know how everyone's always asking, I, I had, Cheeto Santino has had COVID. Andrew Santino, right. I know. Andrew Santino has had COVID. Mm. And uh, he and I did a podcast, and it's available now, and where he talks about it in great detail okay. at the Whiskey, so he's whiskey told Junior. People. He's told okay. him, we, he, he went public with me. Okay. Uh, and uh, yes, that's exciting. Lit. Poor Andrew. Well, and he asked, he asked me last night, my wife still has symptoms. Could I get it back from her? Could I get it again? And yeah. so those kinds of questions are being had all the time by lots of people. Am I immune? Am I not immune? And how long is my immunity going to last? We're going to be able to tell you that with a new, a new immune profile. The antibodies are very crude way of assessing whether you're immune. Very crude. We are going to have explicit ways of assessing immune function. And... We're going to be able to help you boost your immune system to fight off COVID. That's lovely. And, and you know, also they're saying, I'm, I'm super excited about yeah, this. Yeah, it sounds like it. Uh, Thank and, God. And, uh, and they're also going to be able to, you know, people are saying, maybe you had a previous coronavirus and maybe that gave you some immunity. We're going to measure that. Awesome. So that's and how, going to be is Andrew okay? in the new year. That's in the new year. He's Andrew okay. is great. Okay. He's, okay. he's feeling uh, stigmatized, which I found just, yeah, which I found crazy. He feels guilty for getting it. He's going to keep wearing masks. He doesn't need to. And especially when I get him this immune test, we'll be able to tell for sure. Well, that's sad that, to hear that. It's not his fault. It was fault. sad. I, 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 got, I got him coached up. I think I got him out of yeah, that. But that's that to silly. me was a stunning thing to hear. I mean, I guess I would feel sheepish and silly if I got it too. I'd be like, oh God, I did, did I not wash my hands? Did I not wear my mask? Ex exactly Did I do felt. things bad? Exactly how he felt. And we went through everything and he'd yeah. done everything right. And that's the point. We're learning more about aerosols and yeah. yeah. Anyway. All so right. listen to Whiskey Ginger and... Uh, 
It's not okay to call him Cheeto Santino. Is that's a, is well, that, I don't know if, that, if, that everyone, if everyone oh. listening knows yeah, him as Cheeto. Cheeto. Got yeah. it, got it, got it. <laughs> uh, I thought that was a gnome to affection. Yes, it yeah, is. Okay, but I just, for people listening, they may not got know it. Andrew's nickname. Got it. All right, everybody. This is a great show. Thank you so much. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. All conversations and information exchanged during participation of the Dr. Drew After Dark podcast or interaction on the drdrew.com website is intended for educational and entertainment purposes only. Do not confuse this with treatment or physician medical advice or direction per se. You must always follow your medical professional's advice and direction. Nothing on these podcasts or posted on this site supplements or supersedes the relationship and direction of your medical caretakers. Please understand, I am not playing the role of physician in this environment per se. I'm educating. I am a licensed physician with specialty boards in American Board of Internal Medicine and American Board of Addiction Medicine.